Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Taylor if you are new. If you are returning, thank you so much for coming back again. Um, first of all, can we just get into this whole ambiance I have going on right now? I'm constantly changing my life, but I think putting back on all of my clear um, filters, I guess you can call them, on my ring light makes it so much better because the orange ones are really gave me an orange tint to my skin and that was super ugly. And I don't want that. Also, do we see the background that we have? And you can see me in the mirror back here. I'm probably gonna move in a little bit because it's distracting myself. <laughs> but yes, I just redid my home room because I got new furniture. So, your girl is a hell of excited. But, order of business, I just got my Dubious Place stuff in the mail. I had already purchased the foundation but now I have the foundation and the concealer and I have the Nubian 3 Coral Eyeshadow Palette. So that's what we are going, well not we, but me. That's what I'm going to be using today and I really just came on here ahead of time because I wanted to open everything with you all. So first we have the Nubian 3 Coral Palette and Says the Nubian Coral Palette was inspired by an African empire in old Egypt headed by the beauty icon Nefertiti. She was famously endowed with strength and spirituality, consists of 12 beautiful eyeshadow colors. Well, Drew's place, let's see how beautiful this eyeshadow palette is. Alright, so it's nice, it looks just like the packaging on the front. Now let's open it. So we have a few different types of shades in here like some cool shades grays the closer grays and stuff up top that i normally would stray away from but i feel like i can create something really smoky and sultry with that um we also have like the little wine colors and little pink corally shades down here which i think are really really pretty so um which one do i want to swatch i like this brown one this brown one right here so I'm gonna swatch that one. Oh wow these feel so good they feel like soft and this brown is really pretty this brown is dumb pretty look at that look at that okay we're gonna swatch another one let's swatch we're gonna swatch this one on the end this one right here and I just love the way that these feel. They're so, like, oh, whoa. Pigmentation on point. Look. Okay, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna swatch one more. I'm gonna swatch one of the matte shades. I'm gonna swatch the gray one. Because these things feel so good. And the pigmentation is bomb. Yeah. All right, this looks cute already. I'm so excited, like I'm really freaking excited to use this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my eyebrows and one of my eyes off camera so that way you guys can follow along if you decide to. If not, if you just watch for entertainment, then that works too. As long as you're here and you're supporting your girl because that's all that really matters. Like I appreciate all of the support. So we'll come back in a second and then get into everything else see you in a bit so we is back and I really just have to say this eyeshadow palette is the bomb do you hear me do you hear me like I had no trouble with this at all and I feel like it's just because of how I prepped my eyes too which I never prepped them before how I prepped them today and I feel like it's my new thing. Alright, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer. Glitter Primer. This is what created this look. And I'm going to prime my eyes with these. I'm literally taking like this much product. It's not that much at all. And I'm going to pack it onto my eyelid. I cut my nails down because they were starting to break but i think they're starting to break because i cheated on my nail tech 
and, and that's what happened. So I went to somebody different, my nails started breaking, and you know how that goes. So I'm tapping this in, and I'm going to get my fan so I can let it dry a little bit. Alright, I think we're pretty set and tacky. So first shade that I'm going to take from the Coral Nubian 3 palette, I probably said that wrong. Nubian Coral 3, Nubian Coral 3, say it three times fast. Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to take is this one right here. It's a pretty good transition shade, to be completely honest. Because some of these palettes don't be having, like, good transition shades. But this one worked amazingly for a transition. So I'm just going to pop that into my crease. And closer to my eyebrow bone. Because guess what? I have literally no eye space. But I have to make it work. And I think I do a pretty good job at it. So I just get really close to my eyebrow when I apply my eyeshadow. Let me zoom you in. I feel like that will be easier. There we go. Now you can see this out better too. Okay. So I'm just going to add some more of that shade on here. And I blew it out a little bit on this eye, but I don't think... That was my intention. Well, originally it was, but I cut my crease a little bit different. So I'm not going to blow out this one as much just because I'm going to cover this up anyway when I put my concealer on. Okay, so the next shade that I'm going to take is this dark brown. This one right here. A brown shade. I'm just going to put it below the crease. I'll show you. I'll show you. It's easier. It's easier for me to show you. So I'm just going to pack that right in the crease, like a little where it folds. By the way, this is a Morphe M513. It's slightly smaller than the brush that I used for my transition shade. The brush that I used for my transition shade is Morphe M441, so it's a little bit larger. And I like this brush too. I like this brush too because the brushes are a little bit smaller, so it fits my eye space a lot, a lot, a lot better. So I'm packing this one on, and then I'm going to take a little bit of that transition shade again, blend it out up top. And then just add a little bit more of the brown to make it deeper. Okay, so I'm just going to deepen this up a little bit more. Now we're ready to cut our crease. So I'm taking a Morphe M124 brush. It's a real like flat rounded brush and it helps me get all up in there so first i'm going to take some concealer to cut my crease i'm sorry i have to be really quiet and really concentrated to do this because i'll be fucking it up sometimes Okay, so that's pretty good. I think they're even. Yeah, obviously this brown is still a little bit deeper, but we'll fix that. We will fix that. I'm not going to stress it right now. Okay, now I'm going to take some more of the glitter primer and go on top. With it. I think my mirror is too high enough. It's perfect. When I was 
doing my eyes, I really wanted to use as much of the colors that's in this palette as possible. So, um, let me zoom you out really quick. So I'm gonna take this dark brown, like the shimmer brown, and we're gonna go in with that shade. So I'm taking a really skinny brush. This is the Morphe M431. It's like a pencil brush. Not like it, pretty much is a pencil brush. And I'm gonna pack this brown on the outer crease. Like so. And then on my Morphe 513 brush, I'm gonna take the brown that we used for the cut crease part and blend it together. So like this. And just tap it. And then I'll help blend that color right in there. Okay. Now the next shade I'm taking is going to be using an M421 brush. This is also by Morphe. This burgundy like red wine shimmer shade right here. And I'm gonna place it right along the brown. And I'm getting as close as to where I cut my crease as possible. And I'm packing that color and I'm gonna swipe it to the brown so that way it blends seamlessly. I'm gonna take a little bit more. Look how pigmented this is, y'all. The proof, it's in the eyeshadow. You really cannot say I don't like. So I'm gonna try this method of preparation with um, more eyeshadows to see if it's what I did or if it's really the eyeshadow, but I really think it's the eyeshadow because you basically, it's, it's always popping, all right? Then the last shade that I'm going to take, well not the last one, but I'm going to take this shade. It's like a peachy shimmer shade. And I'm going to use this shade for the inside. And then I'm just going to take some more of the milk shade and blend it in to one another. So now we have a perfect, I'm not even gonna say perfect because these eyes clearly don't match with more brown here, but it's okay. It works, we understand the concept. We understand what we're trying to do here, okay? And now I'm gonna take this gold shade, this one right here, and I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner. So now I have this Makeup Forever, um, I'm pretty sure it's an eyeliner. It's called the Artist Color Pencil, and this is the Color Universal Earth, so it's a brown pencil. And I'm going to put this in my waterline. And I like it because it's not really like brown. It has a reddish burgundy tint to it, so it matches what we're going for, what we're going for up here. And I'm gonna take one more shade out of the Juvia's Place palette, and it's gonna be this gray. So I'm gonna take this gray, and then I'm gonna take my pencil brush, the Morphe M431, and we're just gonna smoke out the waterline with this gray. Like I said, I wanted to use as many colors as I could from this palette, and I think I did pretty okay. How many shades did I use? I used one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, and there's 12 shades. So I did a pretty big and ass job, if you ask me. But you didn't, so whatever. Okay, this is really random. But do y'all see this right here? It started out as a blemish, as a pimple, but now I think it's turning into a mole. Let me pull this back. Is it up here? Yeah, right here. So this is a mole too. Wait, is that the spot? I'm not showing you anything. Yeah. So this is a mole too, but it started out as a pimple. This one started out as a pimple, but it's been here for months. Like, literally months since I had my foot locks in. Since before I had my foot locks in, the second time. So I think this is about to become a mole because now it's really not a pimple anymore. It has the color of a mole. Like these things just be popping up on my face. I'm about to just embrace it. But okay, back to business. Our eyes are completed. I'm just gonna wipe off my hands so I don't get makeup everywhere. So I'm gonna zoom y'all back out. Is that too far? That's kind of far. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to move on to my face. For my primer, I'm taking the Milk Hydro Good Primer. Um, the last video I used this. The next video I'm probably going to use this. Until somebody comes out with a better primer. Because this stuff is the bomb. It gets the job done. It makes my skin feel nice and hydrated. And to be honest, it's just the ultimate shape. And then I'm going to try a new trick because I tend to get smile lines so much. And I heard um, multiple people say if you put the NYX glitter primer on your smile lines, like, you're not going to get them. So we're going to try and we're going to see how legitimate this is method this precaution is okay so these days I don't really like putting on too much makeup so what I'm gonna concentrate on right now is covering up my dark marks and my blemishes actually no since we are trying this new Juvia's Place foundation, and we're just gonna use the foundation to see how much it covers. All right, so da -da -da -da. we have the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation, and I'm super late to the party because there's a million reviews on YouTube already about this, but I'm gonna be a million and one, the million and one person to review this. All right. So the color that I am is Somalia 350. Now, I haven't tried this foundation on. The lady at Ulta matched me and I trust her. I trust her. Okay, so I think I need to open it. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand like I normally do and just by putting it out, it's really creamy already. Perfect. I love creamy foundations. I love creamy concealers. Alright, so now I'm going to take my favorite foundation brush ever. The Morphe M439 brush. I'm never not using another foundation brush ever again. And I have problem area right here. So that's where I'm going to start. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is nice though. Oh my gosh. And it moves perfectly. I'm gonna blend it down to my neck a little bit. Wow. 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 I'm really speechless right now. Obviously, you could tell. This looks perfect do you see how perfect this looks i'm gonna take it up to my 
temple area just so I can blend out the eyeshadow that I didn't want to blow out anymore. And that's as far as I'm going to take it because I don't put it on my forehead. But just look at the difference. One side, the other side. And it feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel cheeky. It doesn't even look cheeky. The color is perfect, actually. I was really nervous about it because my skin's been going through it. But, wow. Okay, let's do the other, the rest. Oh my gosh. You guys, this foundation. I haven't worn it yet. I'm just putting it on. But I feel like I'm gonna really, really, really enjoy this. Having this in my life. I really think I am. And then it's just this foundation brush, honey. If you don't have it, go out and get it right now, today. Cause baby, baby, let me tell you. I said in the last video, I said it again, I'm gonna say it in the next one, go get this brush. I promise you will never, ever, ever, ever want to use another foundation brush, ever again like this foundation is sitting on my face perfectly do we see it do we see it and it's still like you can still see my natural highlights boom boom like it's matte but it's not matte to the point where you're like dry skin dry faced crusty cracking none of that none none what okay Thumbs up. Okay, wow, this. There's no separation. This? Oh my god, I really have no words. I'm speechless. Speechless. You hear me? Alright, so I also picked up the concealer. I picked up number 16 in the Juvia's Place. Let me tell you the real name of this. So this is the I Am Magic Concealer. Okay, and I picked up the color J16. I already used this on my eyebrows, like to carve them out, so I kind of cheated. But here's the real test. It's really creamy that I like. I really, 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 really like creamy concealers. A little bit goes a long way, obvi. I'm just going to do down the bridge of my nose. Alright, now let's see how it works with the brush because I don't really blend with the sponge. So what I'm going to do first is take my Morphe M439 and blend the... What is this? The outer parts? I guess we would say the outer parts of the concealer so that way it's blending into my fine my foundation and look what I just did right here but we'll fix it so I just want to blend that into my foundation first and then I'm gonna take the Morphe M173 blush blush brush and blend the rest of it And then I'll just, well, this sponge is too wet. I'm not even gonna check that. I'm showing myself if I use that right now. And it blends in really, really well, actually. This foundation blends really well. Foundation, I'm sorry. This concealer. Blends really, really well. It's not separating. It goes really good. I picked a good color too. I really hate like buying stuff online makeup wise. Whoa, I cannot talk today. Makeup wise, 
And just because I never know the proper shade, especially when they give descriptions and stuff. But I did pretty good because my skin has been going through it. I got darker, but I still could do a bomb job of picking it out. Okay, this looks good, you guys. This looks really good. I'm really doing a full on beat right now. A full on beat. Okay, so now to set it, I'm going to take my Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder in the color Banana. And to set it, I'm going to use this Morphe M536 brush. Technically, it's called a setting brush. That's why I bought it, to see how it works compared to a sponge. So I'm just gonna make sure everything is blended. Surprisingly, this concealer is not creasing. I crease with everything just because I, have, I naturally have creases and this bad boy has not creased. I think we're on to something dubious place. We really are. Okay, so I'm just tapping the powder. I don't like using too much. <coughs> Ew. I think I'd rather sneeze. This powder don't smell as good as the Fenty one. I don't mind inhaling the Fenty one because that shit smells so good. This one just smells like fucking powder. Alright, I'm putting this on my forehead too just to get rid of the shine. Okay. Bomb. Wow, look how highlighted I am. I look fucking good. And if you disagree, you're lying. If you disagree, you're actually just staying here. All right. So now, um, I'm going to take my California Beaming Bronzer by NYX, and it has a little bit of shimmer to it, so we can look a little bronzy. I don't really do the whole contour thing. We're just gonna do that. Let me look in my mirror because I'm probably messing stuff up. And this is why I don't put foundation on my forehead because obviously it still looks good, you know? You know, you know. Wow, I look good. Okay, I'm not done with the powder. I don't know why I closed it. So now I'm going to take some of more setting powder and just put it like here to kind of clean up the little bit of contour that I did. Does that look okay? Wait a minute, y'all. I'm not creasing by my mouth. Let me find out this glitter primer is tea. Let me find out that it's tea. Okay, now I'm going to contour my nose. Where's my brush that I'm looking for? I have so many freaking brushes and they all need to be clean. So I'm using the bronzer 
to contour my nose too. And whenever you contour your nose, please make sure that you go into like your eyebrow. I don't know how else to put it. Cause some of y'all be having your contour just sit right there and that's not the look. That's not it. So have it blend right on into your eyebrow. Look how snatched my fucking nose is. Do y'all see this? My nose has never looked at this good. Wow, I look good. I look so fucking good. So for blush, I'm taking the NARS Liquid Blush in the shade Orgasm. And I like this one just because it has shimmer, obviously. And I like to look dewy. So we're gonna put like one drop, two, two on the back of my hand. I'm gonna mix it up. See the difference? Boom, 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 boom. Wow, I look fucking great. I'm feeling myself. Okay, now I'm going to take just a fluffy brush and dust off this. And now it's all cleaned up. So what I'm gonna do is just darken up the under eye a little bit with the gray shade that we use and a pencil brush. Just to put back what we kind of lost when we did our concealer. So now it looks way more smoky. And it looks even more amazing. Y'all, I said I was going to be done by 8 o'clock. It is 7.53. The lies I told. But it's okay, I'm gonna be fashionably late because I look amazing. Oh, I look so good. My face is uh, snatched. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some mascara. Now I'm going to take my Morphe Setting Mist, spray my face before I apply my highlighter. And then also to minimize some of the matteness that I might be seeing is I'm going to take the Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh Spray by NYX and this is just going to help my skin be nice and dewy. As you can see, it's already looking nice and refreshed. And for highlighter today, I'm going to take the Juvia's Place Nefertiti Loose Highlighter. And it's just like a golden. And what I'm gonna do different is put it on a blush brush. So that way it gives me a more natural highlight, especially because it is a loose one. And I noticed when I use loose highlighters, it tends to go everywhere a little bit more. So. 
So you see how like subtle, well it's not really subtle, but it's not obnoxious. And I'm gonna take this brush. It's a lip brush, but I'm not using it as for my lips. I'm gonna pop some of this highlighter into my inner corner. My camera stopped recording on me. I don't know where I was, but I'm taking my middle finger and just gonna put some of that highlighter down the bridge of my nose on the tip of my nose this is not really doing anything I need some more I just don't want to put too much okay so down the bridge there we go the tip of my nose and then I'm putting some on my cupid's bow and this makes all the difference my lips are already really big but this just makes the difference Also, applying foundation on my lips before I put lipstick on helps me out too. Okay, so before I move any further, I'm going to not look like a crackhead. I'm going to go fill in my eyebrows, put my lips on, put my lashes on, and I will be right back for the final look, the final touches. And I might even show you guys my outfit. I've never done that before, but I think we're going to try something new today. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, so this is the outfit that I went with. I just have this shirt and I buttoned it, opened it. It had like flaps on the back and front, but I just tied the front up so it looks a little bit more sexy, you know? I just put on some denim shorts. And then my shoes, you can't really see, but they're blue. So it's more of a monochromatic look. Um, I put on my big hoop earrings with this necklace rings and yeah. Have my mirror right here. So it looks cute. And for the rest of my face, I just went kind of basic. I put on like more natural lashes, a matte lip, a nude. So yeah, I'm bending down so you guys can see me, but I hope you enjoyed watching this video. You guys have a good day, night, whatever time of day you're watching this. We're going to test out this foundation, see how well it lasts, but it's doing pretty well right now. I've had it on for almost an hour now. So I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Bye.